Welcome back, everybody. Glad to have you with me, and glad we can continue to enjoy this Let's Play. So, as you can see, I've cleared out quite a bit of land, because I think here shortly, maybe not this episode or the next episode, but I think we'll be building a new house, or base, or whatever it ends up being. I've expanded the garden a little bit, too, as you can tell, to help keep me alive, because, you know, a man's got to eat. So, I think today's episode, we're going to focus on the making of our, or upgrading of our tools and making some backpacks. And even if we have time in this episode or maybe the beginning of next episode, I think we're going to work on building the portal to the mining dimension so that we can have a safe place to mine without having to disturb too much of this dimension. I uh, like to keep the world looking as normal as possible. So, to get started, we're going to need to make some alum brass. And I got a, some copper left over in here. And with that copper, we're going to have to mix it with some aluminum, I think. Let's let's double check with that. So, let's look up alum brass, which is pretty easy. There isn't many brasses out there to see. So, yep, it looks like we're going to have one part copper to three parts aluminum. And that's pretty easy to do. So let's grab the aluminum that we will require. Because what we'll do is we'll use a whole block of aluminum and three copper ingots. Now I know we had a full block in there already of copper, which is nine ingots. But I, I don't have a casting yet to pull out half of those. So I don't want to use them all just yet. So what we're going to do is drop these in there. And while that's going, let's go get some lava. I'm going to make sure to keep this smeltery fueled up for all this uh, tool making that we're going to do. It was kind of interesting, there was that, those two blocks of gravel in there, and there was a cow stuck on them. So what I did is I built this little platform here to allow the cow to jump off and run away. Poor guy. So I've also learned my lesson never to run with a bucket of lava in my hand, because then if you accidentally click the button... Bad things happen. Like stuff burns down. <laughs> Especially when you make your house out of wood. So, let's see. What do we got cooking in here? It looks like it's all melting together. So, from here, we need to grab our um, material pieces. So, we're going to go to our pattern, or part builder. And we are going to make the pieces we need. We might as well just make them out of cobblestone. It really makes no difference what we make them out of. Because as you're aware, it gets lost when you do. And you'll see that here in a minute. Now, just like the parts requirements for... Um, using patterns, it looks like stuff will cost twice as much. when we smelt it in here as well. It won't just be one ingot, it'll be two for a head of a tool and for a binding or a rod of any kind, it will be a single ingot. So we have all of our alum brass melted and ready to go. So let's start making our parts. Now one of the first things we can do that I like to have out of the way is the ingot cast. And even though we're gonna lose a copper ingot out of this, it is always good to have this ingot cast because you won't always be able to make a block of everything. I mean, I put it in there as such most of the time, but what if you only have seven? You may not have a full nine. And so you gotta be able to pull those out of there without, be, without being able to have to put others in there. Just makes it that much easier. So we got our first cast and it's for the ingot. So let's go down the line here and put in our others one at a time and it'll all work out now as you're well aware just like the ingot you will lose every piece you add to it so to help us out here we're going to build us a little chest to go outside to hold all these casts because i don't like to keep them all in my inventory and never do i have enough room to do so so let's keep going whoops don't want those to go in there i wanted them to go there 
So there we are. And I just casted a blank. Well, we can always melt that back down. Thank goodness. I think we can. <gasps> we can't melt down a cast. We'll have to figure out what we're going to do with that. That's interesting. It's not too much lost. We'll have more than enough for what we need. Just have two left. We'll be good to go. So we have... Just taken inventory here of all that we have. We have a sword, the guard, the rod, the ingot, and the binding. So we have everything we need for basic tools. Make it pretty easy there. Sorted it in place. Let's drop off some of that stuff if we can. The other chest is getting pretty full too. We're going to have to upgrade a little bit at some point here. Hmm. Let's cook up a little bread while we're at it. I think it requires three per to make the dough. There we go. Turn around and we'll make six more pieces of bread. That'll keep us fed for a while. Even though we're already up to potatoes, the rice is just as good. I like rice because it's multi-purpose. Not only can it make bread, but it can also make paper. It's one of the nifty additions to one of the additional mods in this, which is the Actually Additions mod. And we'll be going over more stuff from that mod as time goes on. So it looks like we have three more ingots from this stuff. So we're going to take our ingot cast and we will make those three ingots. I knew it would come in handy. So next what we're going to do is we're going to take some iron and some copper and we're going to remake our main tools here. So each of them will require a binding well this one will require a guard but let's call it a binding for simplicity here and each of them will require two of these for its main piece whether it be the sword blade or the axe head or the shovel head or the hatchet head so as we make these ingots here let's melt down the rest of this because none of this will all melt together thankfully but at least we know now all that we're going to require for this build and there we go. That should be the final one. And there shouldn't be any left in there. Very nice. So let's put away our ingot cast. And let's grab all the ones that will be made up of iron. That'll make this pretty easy. Move our bread out of the way real quick. And we got these four. These four will be our iron ones. So we'll do our iron first. Yeah, we should have done the copper first because it melts faster. But... The iron's almost done. No biggie there. So, one of the things you have to do while using the smeltery is to make sure you select the one that you want to pour out first. And it'll always be on the bottom. So, you're going to go over here to the, to the casting table. And you're going to pour out your stuff. Now, it requires two ingots per, like I said. And this will be for your main component of your tool. So, now we just... Keep casting until we get all four of them done. And it'll be that simple. And then we'll work our way onto our bindings and whatnot. Now, as you've noticed, I tend to go a little torch crazy out here. Because, you know, who likes to have creepers come up and ambush you while you're trying to make tools or work in your garden or something along those lines? Just... It's never fun. So we should be fairly safe in this place, but if it does become night, I'll prob I probably will go sleep. So now we have our four components there. That'll help us out. So next, we need our two types of binding. Well, our binding and our guard. So now we have our copper here. Should be four ingots. And we will need three of these. At some point, I'll set up a more automated system that will use hoppers to automatically pull these out into a chest. But for now, we'll just use a basic setup. Okay, so now we have three of those and one of our guards. 
Boom. All done. Let's put our cast away, and we'll be good to go. There we go. Very nice. Let's go in here. We need to make four more tool rods. Perfect. So, grab out that cobblestone there, and we'll go to this one first. And the guard. So, I could, if I wanted to, take my old pickaxe and put it in here and just upgrade the components on it, whether it be the copper or the iron. Now, the reason I chose iron over copper for the head, even though I like copper because it gives more experience points randomly, not necessarily every block, block you break, but quite often, is the fact that it gives that experience points. Copper has magnetic and is also able to mine at diamond level. So the head of your pickaxe determines the level at which you're able to mine. So the diamond level is better than the one that the copper provides, which is iron level. So we use that one. And so we'll have our main tool, and then all of these will become our backup tools. So we select our shovel, and we have a new shovel. And so on and so forth down the line till we have everything complete. And there we go. So what we'll do is we'll hang these up in a frame of some sort on the wall just so that they can be uh, set aside for later or maybe even like a drying rack. Um, I need to check to see if we have the item frames in here to see if we can put them up on the wall in a cluster of four because that is always the best setup for me. And that comes from Bibliocraft, I think, if I remember correctly. But for now, we'll just set our old ones aside and put our new ones right in place. And there we go. This one will have 329 durability. In fact, all of them will except for the sword. It'll have 361. And that'll make much better use of our items and also increase the speed at which we use them, which will save a significant time when it comes to mining again. So now that we have that out of the way, let's clean out our inventory a little bit here. We're not gonna be able to do too much. We need to upgrade everything to crates, I think. But we'll do that after we get to the next step, I think. Because the next step is going to be our backpacks. And we're going to use the ones from forestry. Because, simply put, when you mine ore, it puts ore into the mining backpack. And when you mine dirt, gravel, sand, or cobblestone, it puts it into the digger backpack. It's that much easier. So I can sort it out, or digging back backpack. So I can sort it out later on without any issues. And so I can keep my inventory fairly clean which is important to me. So let's drop the cobblestone in there. Put you there. Sand in there. There, we made a little bit of space. So let's see, do we have item frames? Let's check. We have the regular frames, but we do not have the other types of frames. So what we'll do here is we'll make, I think we'll make racks. There we go. That is not the one on, oh, there it is. Item rack. Okay, so it is two oak slabs or pretty much any type of wooden slab in a line. So let's go like that because we're gonna need a few. Okay, so we're gonna need four of these. One, two, three, four. And then we'll take the rest of these and we'll set them aside for now. So, all we got to do is go bam, 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 bam. So then we will put our tools down here. And simply hang them up. Keeps them out of the way. And it kind of looks pretty cool. I like the way it looks anyway. So, I hang up my tools. Well, looks like it's night. So before we do too much more, let's take a little nap. Thawing some logs to get us going. 
So it looks like we'll call this episode a close. And on our next episode, we'll make our backpacks and we'll um, build the portal to the mining dimension. So I thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you like, share and comment on this video. Hope you guys have a wonderful day.